This is the new sniper, Duminjik Point 25. It's a lightweight dart gun that causes bleeding damage. The bleeding damage is increased if the enemy moves around. At 1 star the damage stands at 150, melee damage at 184, bleeding damage to 228, accuracy around 335 to 958. Range at 22 and movement speed at 77 with reload time at 1.6. When upgraded to four and a half stars, the damage goes up to 500, with an increase of 350. Melee goes up to 604, bleeding damage to 809. Accuracy went up a little bit along with range, movement speed, and reload time. This sniper is significantly different than any other snipers out there, because this one causes bleeding damage after shooting the enemy. But from one star to four and a half stars, this gun doesn't have anywhere close to the power of the old sniper. At max 6 stars, the damage goes up to 903, that's an increase of 400. Melee damage goes up to 778. Bleeding damage goes to 1049. While range, movement speed, and reload time improve a little bit. When this sniper is maxed, it feels far different than when it's at 4 and 5 stars. By the way, no matter how much you upgrade this gun, you won't be able to upgrade the ammunition. You can only shoot one bullet at a time before having to reload. You can play around with mods that could help your reload speed but aside from that mods won't help increase your clip capacity. When you consistently shoot an enemy, the 1049 bleeding damage won't intensify with each bullet that lands. I would recommend using the increased bullet damage mod because at least you can increase your shot damage. It won't cause bleeding damage to enemies with shields which makes sense. If enemies have adrenaline then it can't cause any continuous damage to them. Adrenaline blocks any effect of this gun. Adrenaline is being used more often these days, so its damage will be difficult to have much effect. Aside from adrenaline, I have noticed a lot more flashers. With the recent increase of the bleeding damage caused by flash, more people are running around blinding each other. If you guys like flashing so much you might as well become a cameraman. At 4.5 stars I didn't see a lot of great things with this gun, it'll cost you around 1 million silver to get it to 4 stars. After that, it'll cost you another 2 to 3 more million silver to max the stars. When you max this gun, it feels a lot more fluid, and shoots rapidly. The accuracy is questionable at times, depending on the operator that you use. In my loadouts, I don't find this gun useful, but this gun is extremely fun when it works. When things go right it makes you fall in love with it. This sniper becomes extremely deadly when used with Max Moreau and his 10th bleeding talent. I don't have a Max Moreau, so I didn't bother trying, but I did try it with some other operators just for fun. Initially, I played this gun with JB because he's the only person who can hold two guns, and the Doom Injector's abilities might require you to have a backup weapon or else you'll need to run constantly. That's exactly what I did with every other operator aside from JB. Sometimes running felt kind of fun with Dutch, and somehow it felt a lot faster, and his shots felt a lot more accurate. The shots are rapid but I couldn't tell a major difference between Dutch's rapid fire from other operators, since it is one shot at a time. Snick felt fine, but I noticed I was missing more simple shots than I was with Dutch. Those issues could be adjusted in operator talents. I didn't have too much expectation from Snick. I really wanted Ray to work with this gun. The idea of Ray going in and out of visibility, and using this gun to achieve greater results was something I hoped. I think it's fun especially because you can skate by disappearing after making a shot. Especially if you are in a shootout, you could shoot and disappear and watch them bleed out and reappear somewhere else and continue shooting. It will need a lot more practice, but I think the potential is there. This gun won't be able to penetrate Chun Li's force field. Which sucks because most of the time when she charges you with an active force field, it's hard to run away unless you have taser in your lineup. It is very difficult to take her down, and I wish that this gun had the power to balance the game a little bit by letting the bullets break into her shield. When this gun is maxed, it takes 6 plus shots in order to take Chun-Li down. While at 4.5 stars, it takes forever to take anyone down, but even more difficult to take down max players. At max it still struggles to take down max players, and you'll need to consistently shoot them in order to make the kill. While the dart gun is still unique, it struggles against SMS and other snipers unless you have a supporting squad. 
I wouldn't suggest using it for small maps, even though it has less range. Its range and one shot makes it difficult to anticipate enemies' action. Shout out to my dude Retro for letting me use his videos to showcase the old sniper. His loadout is always reliable, so I'm happy to edit and show his games later in the videos. In conclusion, while the Doom Inject Point 25 is a unique sniper with its bleeding damage, it's not the best option for those who are looking for raw power. Its damage is relatively low, even when fully upgraded, and its reload speed is best when upgraded and mods. The cost to upgrade it at its full potential is also quite high, making it a difficult investment for those with limited resources. But if you're looking for a sniper that can provide a different type of utility on the battlefield, then it's worth considering. Because when this gun works it really feels invincible. You would feel like you are on the top of the world, but to achieve those results you would most likely need to play it with Miro in a complete new way that you have been used to from the older snipers. To achieve its full potential, you will definitely need to max it out. Huge shout out to all of you for supporting this channel. Lots of love from the bottom of my heart. Eventually I'll have random giveaways for the exclusive member only so join to enjoy the perks. Big thanks to my dude, the wall the average gamer, Sam. The SM bro, the boss bro, the lions. The warlord of tactical, dictator. The cal pal, drop it on the beat, cal. The king, my favorite twin, Stephen King. The OG, the homie, LYZ. Lastly, the supporter and my favorite motivator, Nirvana. Thank you all for the love. I won't be able to do these often so I hope you enjoyed. And here are some games from the old and the new sniper. Enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm afraid that I'ma fuck it up 